Welcome to Pokers with Magnoni. I'm excited to be here today because I have a special guest. I don't know how I got this one, but thanks to Mr. Broken English, he has pulled the plug uh, for me to get this one. Uh, I am with Chekalonda. Chekalonda is a renowned person in Malawi, music artist, presenter, uh, uh, like show host, and so many things that I, I think I don't know. So we'll discover together. Art. You, he's just art. Yeah. So he's art. So today we're gonna have a conversation with so many things, just to know him more and just talk about Malawi music and all those kind of things. Probably ask a few gossip questions. So here we are. So welcome to podcast with Magnani. Thank you, man. Yeah. So here the the style is freestyle. Like we don't we don't keep it formal I because like yeah, you see. The, the you are always on TV. You're always talking to people. You have a script and they're like, "That's nice," but usually I feel like. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? With me, it's different because I don't have a script. Like you know, I hate about we, it. We we had a very big debate and a very big argument where I work when they wanted me in particular to be submitting program scripts and just go, you know, you so you cue this, you cue that. Mm. I told my boss then that like I can't, it doesn't work with me. This doesn't work because I'm a freestyle. You know, <laughs> let me let me do what I can. Yeah. If you feel like it's not good, then maybe we we can work. We can fix but it. But if we, if it's good, I feel like I should be free and just do what I want to do. Yeah, I, I think I think that's nice because usually when things are so scripted, sometimes they lose the touch of the uniqueness. Yeah, you, you're right. always careful, man. You don't have to be very careful. These mm. things come natural. They come natural. Like I've been watching your show uh, that you do. I don't know if you still do the one where you go to artist houses. Yeah. You have a conversation. conversation. You know, yeah, that was nice because that, that's that is changing the the way that um, presentation of uh, of shows in in TVs that usually happen. Yeah. That was natural. Yeah, man. You know, see, <laughs> I had an interview with one particular artist. The name is Marfo. Yeah. That guy. We were drinking. You know, yeah. There was brandy there. Mm. I wasn't drinking. Not because I was on TV, mm. but because I did not want to drink. So yeah. I, I, I was drinking water just like now. Yeah. So we started the interview. And then at the end of the interview, this guy was tipsy. You know? <laughs> that was the end of the interview. So we started while he was sober. Yeah. One hour into it, he got drunk. Yeah. A lot of people, some people criticized it. We showed it on TV. Mm. Some people criticized, ah, he's drinking, he's been a bad example to the kids. I said, but this is a reality show. That's this what he does. That's what he does. And, and and sometimes we have to accept how that's yeah. how people live. And then um, uh, just show it the way it is. But anyway, let's start from this. Let's, let's start from the scratches. Yes. Um, your name is Fatani. Fatani. Uh, Quite, quite interesting when the name of Asani is uh, being associated with a name of a, of a, of a movie that is not seen anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just talking about <laughs> that today, man. Hey, like, Fasani the movie, which is popular, yeah. uh, getting nominated for awards. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never seen it, of course. I don't know. I have. You have? Yeah, I can narrate it to you. I have a fee. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw your post. <laughs> you think that... You're narrating myself for a fee, <laughs> so you'll be at this place this time. And for then those that haven't watched it, they can come to me. I yeah. can explain that. No, just jokes. But uh, I yeah, know. I understand. I know how people are like, crying out loud about how they haven't watched the movie. Yeah. I share the same um, with them. It's, yeah. it's pretty sad, you know? Pretty sad. I wish if they could do another another, another set so that we can go. Some of us, we didn't go for the first one. But the first one, I think, because it was a drive-in for a really long way. Um, that time I was thinking so much about my little one because I wanted to go with my wife and then we had the baby was quite small so, so I was thinking all, all yeah. Sorts of COVID issues. yeah so I don't know if they can organize these smaller smaller ones where yeah. we can go I think they have also I feel, I feel like they have their own explanation because mm-hmm. when we tried to ask from you know the, yeah jokes aside but I, I also tried to ask them seriously yeah. where is the movie yeah so said you know all these things conditions yeah. about Premiering movies and then when you submit yeah. to um, international awards mm. and international channels, they mm. don't want you to screen the movie. They want to show it first. Yeah. So there were issues about Netflix and yeah. uh, whatnot, you know. Mm. But still, I feel like it's, it's, it's taking too long. Man. It's taking too long, and people are losing uh, yeah. losing the patience now. Yeah, this is what I, sometimes I feel I'm like. Fat y- yeah, you're gonna lose the patience sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, Fatan, mm. where did Blackjack come from? Just been, you know, just been um, an, an, um, an, um, a creative young guy. Yeah. 
who who grew up in a musical setup. Yeah. Like in my in our family, all the guys were musicians, right? Mm. Like all my siblings, the ones above me and yeah. the ones below me, yeah. just musicians. So we grew up in a reggae and dance family. Yeah. Like that's the music that we were exposed to. Yeah. So you know how reggae and dance artists who give themselves another name apart from their name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. typical. Yeah, a nickname, it's right? Just like yeah. the vibes cartel. His yeah. name is Adija Palmer. Yeah. So something like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Shabarang as a name. Yeah. And Buju Bandon as a name. Yeah. So we just wanted to follow the same uh, path because now we're doing the genre. Yeah, which is reggae and dancehall. Mm. So we thought, of, okay, cool. Let's also brought uh, let's also borrow the culture. Yeah. So yeah, apart from the smoking, we borrowed the, <laughs> <laughs> we borrowed the, the names as well. So uh, we one day we, we can um, say yeah. Anyway, one day I, I was sleeping. I tried to think about the name. I scratched and writing down on the paper, scratching out, scratching out. Yeah. I gave myself so many names, man. But I think Blackjack won. Black Jack was the one that stayed on the top. Yeah, it was. It was. It sounded nice. Yeah, it, it does. It does. Um, Black Jack, I think, has so many, so many meanings. If you look yeah. at it, uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's a club. Sometimes yeah. I think it's, it's a game. game. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think I think it's a unique name. Uh, I haven't heard anyone who's a black chick around here. They, they not not here, but there are some that are all, in Jamaica. Right? They're copying me now. Ah. The they're some, but they, they're not artists, and you know, yeah. I tried to find a, a, a unique way of spelling mine. Yeah. So I removed the C's. Mm. So it's just B L A K mm. J A K one word. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. So that is different with it. So it's not like a black. It's a little like little. Jack. No, yeah. Like black Jack. Black Jack. Yeah. Cool. You your name really came out because of Nyasa Golos. Yes. You were so popular with the group. I think I knew you through that. Yes. Uh, yeah, so because when we were doing the Tumpales, when we were vibing for that, I think the 2000s wouldn't understand this. Yeah, this is more of uh, people that were born in the 90s. <laughs> so, yeah, what happened? Tell me the journey about you guys meeting because you were diverse, and then later on, you are the only one who people know. Mm-hmm. I remember when I said I grew up in a family of oh, yes. um, musicians, yeah. like all, our, all my siblings were musicians. Mm. So that's that was the uh, the birth of Nyasa boys because in the house yeah. we had too many boys. Mm. This is not my house. Mm. This is not one of my siblings' house. But this was a house mm. where we could go to during holidays. Yeah. So we had a favorite auntie. You mm. know how you would have a favorite auntie. Yeah. So every holiday, like mommy, I want to go is that the house. Holiday, yeah. Auntie. Uh, so our auntie was Auntie Jane. Ah, so like okay. I want to go to Auntie Jane's house for a holiday. Mm. So Auntie Jane, you know. She was so welcoming, so yeah. we could meet there a lot of guys. Like I mean, we did nine, ten guys. Man. Wow! Yeah, she, she was she had like she had like two boys. She was yeah. yeah, she had like two boys. Uh, but then we we could go there on a holiday. All all the other siblings from the other the other aunties. Yeah, and meet there. You know, yeah. so it was like a bunch of. I remember we had a team, a football team. Oh, <laughs> that we would that just borrow, we would just borrow a goalkeeper. That, that was fine. Yeah, so the guys to our body that didn't move more. Wow. So yeah, so it was there when we started, you know, making music inside the house. First, first, before everything else, it was competition in within ourselves. Yeah. But then one day we sat, we sat down and said, you know what, let's just make a group. You yeah. know? So we created a group, and um, we were calling ourselves Chess Them Crew. I remember, you know, being influenced by Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chess them, chess them yeah. yeah. So when they see us, they run. They run. They <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> One day it was uh, we exposed our auntie also to the music, mm. so she was following us. Okay, she was following the music. You know when we did when we, when we could do a good song, mm. she was always commenting. Ah, the song you did yesterday, it's good. The one you were recording yesterday, it was good because we were recording in the house. You know how we put a high hi fi you tape, you yes, say, record microphone. I, sh- I remember those <laughs> days. I remember those days. Yeah, yeah. So she you, she woke up one day. She's like, ah, you guys are doing good music, but your name. Sounds satanic. Whoa. Yeah. Man, it sounds like devilish. Yeah. Chest and Chest who? Right. Right. Yeah. Who? Who? Yo, find a name that will um, relate to Malawi. Yeah. That's when Nyasa Gurus came. Yeah, that was, let's just be Nyasa Gurus. That was a good name. Yeah. Come on, because we, yeah, Nyasa has the story, the yeah. Gurus, I think, because, yeah, you were yeah. a couple guys. Yeah. And, yeah. 
Cool. So that's how. That's nice. Yeah. So you guys, t- so it means you guys are were relatives. All, all, all the guys you saw, you see, or you saw in Yasago is related. Ah, siblings, cousins, brothers. That's crazy. Nephews and uncles, it was just related. That's crazy. Yeah. How, how did you guys get along? I, I don't oh, know that. But we, we, fought, we fought a lot behind the scenes. Yeah. Behind the scenes, it was fighting every time. Mm. You know? Yo. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because, because having studio sessions, just abandoning studio sessions because one of one of uh, the guys you know, can't do it anymore. Uh, the the banter was too much. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. This is yeah, some, yeah. some crazy issues, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but talking about why people don't just know me now, I feel like it's an issue of now priorities, you know? Mm, 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 yeah, these old guys, I think, had different priorities. Yeah. I, I, I was born an artist. Mm. I studied art. I graduated an artist. Okay. Uh, my work is art. Yeah. yeah. I've worked in a theater organization in Zimbabwe. Mm. Going to the. Um, Trainings there, and yeah. then working for times television, you know, yeah. just out, 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 out. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's like it's, it's stuck to me. Mm-hmm. Well, the other guys you know changed jobs, the other ones got married, mm-hmm. and then you know wives, yeah, being wives, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what happened. Okay, that yeah. tells the story that you're not married, huh? <laughs> I'm not. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So there, uh, not everyone is as you know. We still have the clever ones here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, we still like <laughs> not everyone is yeah. Yeah, you see. It's dash dash dash. Mm-hmm. Uh, some some are still craving. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Cool. <laughs> so some guys stopped, some are doing other things. Yeah. That's typical for typical for groups. groups, right? And you know the funny thing about this is um I feel like there's a time in life mm-hmm. where you explore a couple of things, but people who I would call with destiny to do something will end up being there. For instance, most of us who start as footballers would mm-hmm. play football and jump up and down. Most every guy played Most every guy, right? Apart from Tana. Yeah. I don't know his football history. <laughs> yeah. But I know you played football. Yeah, I played. Yeah. I played, but later on, you um, later on you move on and then you start go, going forward to do some other thing that you, you're really interested in. Mm-hmm. So I think it's the same with music. Because you, you I, I've always done music. I've been an artist. I've dropped my singles. I've released mixtapes. I've done what? It's interesting. I need to listen to music. No, 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 no. Yeah. So bad. You <laughs> never know. Yeah, but yeah. So you see what happens with that is that eventually you move on and you focus on something else. That's what happens with that. And you, I don't blame people who do that. Yeah. It's, it's what it is. You move I mean, on. Life gives you chances, man. Like it, it, there's a stage where you have you can try anything, anything yeah. that you want to be. Yeah. But then there's a stage where you, you really have to choose what you want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and people end up forcing people to be, no, no, you have to just, just be a group or something. But people can be like that yeah. all the time. Yeah. I, chose, I chose art. I'm an artist. Yeah. Great. Let's talk about music. Uh, when you were doing music so much, uh, I remember you came, I was at Inzoni. You came out in Zoni. Uh, you performed. I was there. I think I was there. Uh, at the at the at the front or something like that. You you were at your peak. No show would happen without blackjack. Let's talk about money. How much how much money were you making at that time? Yeah. Well enough money, you know. Mm. Enough money. Um there is something with money that comes from shows. Yeah. It's hard to count how much you've made. <laughs> and it's hard to remember where you go. <laughs> In the morning, you have transport to yeah, go home. Yeah, you know. I feel, I feel like you know this issue of being without management, just being an excited young guy who is talented and just going solo. Yeah, it's a very big um, problem. Yeah, because you don't know what to do with the money. Like for example, I come to like you say, if I come to Mzuni mm. to perform At that time, I remember. I don't know which year was that, but I remember there was a time I was coming to Zoom where I could charge 150k, mm. 150,000 Yeah, and that time it was money. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of money. Mm. You know, 50,000 was for the um, cost, the expenses, yeah. transport, and, and then you could get 100. And then you said, okay, cool, it's 100. Ah, I have, you know, not even, I, I did not have this 100 anyway. Yes. But now I have it. Even if I blow it, yeah. it, nothing doesn't change. I do not have it anyway. Yeah. So let me take 50 and enjoy with my friends. Mm. So you start enjoying there. 
So you know, go kill out, go ahead. Yes. And then the money comes, you want to go home, now you're 50. <laughs> you go, you reach Planta, you're 50. Yeah. People at Planta, they knew you were at the show. You also want to show them. That, that I was at the show, I have money. So I'm the boss now. Ash. Bring your friends, come, let's chill. I was at the show. So Blackjack. Is uh, is in blood uh, coming from Zuni, you know, smelling money. To buy a whole blood jack, just like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you, I made, I made enough money. I, I, am proud of what I did. Yeah. I feel like I've maintained yeah. um, the flow, not the cash flow, mm. but the. I, I, I built something. Yeah. You know, I, I built something now. I, I, I've got a very big uh, recording studio. Yeah. Um, so out out of the performances, out of yes, what, yeah, yeah. that money came from music. I told myself I need to do something yeah. with money that comes from music. Yeah, because one day people ask me, "You are an artist. My my kids will see my CDs." Yes, oh, daddy, we heard you are a very famous artist. <laughs> what did you do with your money? Yeah. So like, ah, kids, you see that uh, big uh, media house, mm. yeah, in town mm. that came from. Money from the music. Yeah. We started in house. That's why it's called in house media. So that company there, yeah. the one that's working with BBC, yeah. came from. So, so the name of your of your brand is in house, yeah. Because I started in house. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, talk about music and money. It's crazy, yeah. Because that is usually you don't want to say a figure. Uh, and I understand. I understand. Well, we, we can, I say figures. You say figures. I say figures. Okay, cool. So, like, in it, let's 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 just let's, let's assume in a year, how many shows would you do in a year? In a year, at your prime time. At my prime time, I would do a minimum of um, let's say five shows a month. That's a minimum. Five shows a month. So let's do calculations here. Uh, five shows a month. Assuming you were your minimum charge was let's say average hundred thousand, then that's five hundred. Uh, and then if a month and times twelve, you're talking of six million. Out of just music. Yes. What about features? <laughs> I charge for features. It depends on who I'm featuring. Okay. But normally, when I'm featuring people that need me, mm. I charge. I charge fifty k for a feature. Mm. Um, basically, forty comes to me and ten goes to where I'm recording them. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Because I don't get it. I don't get it when someone asks for a free feature. Like, like if I want you to go to the studio and pay your own money and what? I've been sending it. That doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, you need to pay for it. Unless if the feature benefits me yeah. a lot. Yeah. Because there are features that I know that will benefit me. Yeah. If, 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 if Casper on your vest calls today, yeah. says, I want your vest in my joint. Yeah. I say, yes, sir. <laughs> Bring it. I will pay for the studio oh, time. Yes, I will even send you stems using my, uh, my dad. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> I can even send the drive a truck driver to deliver. You deliver. And deliver the physical. Yeah, the flash. <laughs> you know? But yeah. there are features when you know this guy is looking for a feature because yeah. he wants me to push his song. His music, yeah. They need to pay. Yeah, he has to pay. Cool. Let's talk about your music. I know of a time where you so criticized because of your content. Uh people say that you your content is eighteen plus. Um I don't know if you have ever been in a place where you have said, yes, my content is 18 plus, so anyone who is 17 going down, don't listen to it. How did you react to that when people talk about first, it? First, I was getting bored. I was, mm. It was affecting me. Yeah. You know, because what I believe in, like the music that I make, when I'm making this music, yeah, and what people say after I've made the songs, mm. it's totally different. It's to the contrary. Yeah. So at first, I was, I was being bothered. I was like, why do people say this? Yeah. But then I understood. But I was just too slow to understand what I did. Yeah. Like, you know, we had people with weak minds. Mm, mm, mm. The ones that wouldn't differentiate from a person that's swearing mm. and a person that's provocative. Yeah. You understand? This music started way back. Mm, mm. Mafumo Matiki mm. has been making songs like this. Yeah. Edgar Davis has been making songs mm. like this. Yeah. Way, way back. Yeah. And then we'll be like, baby, be in too low, now go far, take it, take it, a wizard, wait a... Yeah, yeah. Way before I was born, yeah. this music was there. It was there, yeah. I but because it's I, it's took it, I took it, I took it, I took it, like, I took it hands on to say, okay, cool, this is the type of music I'm going to make. Mm. And uh, the, it's going to be popular. Now, I popularized that music. Mm. I started making money out of it. <laughs> People were bitter, probably. 
He's making money out of provocative music. He's using words. He's playing with my mind. What I do with my music, I craft my words carefully yeah. to play with your mind so yeah. that when you want. Because I, I don't. I, I think you don't finish the I words. I don't go direct. I don't. You, the, your you listeners will. I'll tell you a story. There was a time. Yeah. Mark. Is it Mark? What, what, what's that board? That's called. Kosovo. No, no, no. The board that's censorship board. Censorship board. Malawi censorship board. Yeah. Code for my lyrics. Serious. My song was featured in a play by yeah. Nazigam. Yeah. Why are you? Eh. That's what the song. Yeah. They called for the lyrics. They say, okay, if you're releasing this production yeah. by Nazigam mm. and you're featured in this song, you need to submit the lyrics of the song. We need to examine the lyrics. Wow. You see? Yeah. There was a time NBC banned my song. Wow. Yeah. They did, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking, but they did. Now yeah. NBC plays my music. Yeah. All the music, including my maybe we, it was it was a time. They were just weak. The time was I was way ahead of these people. You see, yeah, now, we're, now, we're we're now, the, now people now. the people are saying stuff that you you already said. Oh, the catching up. See, 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 even the poets. Yes, they're using my language. See, even the a lot of artists now they're using my language. See, Netman. Yeah, see, uses my language. Yeah, he, he shows us. Yeah, yeah. they use these people use my language now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really interesting. Now my dingo and Lucy's band are mash up. Yeah. I'm a go full nature bambo. Yes. She called me in the gune nature bambo. That's my language. That's, that's what you used to do. Now because Lucy's did it, it's, it's, now it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, know, but my language is, I mean, I don't understand. It's right crazy. Now, but, but I hope in another chapter in music. Because yeah. people were afraid to express themselves. Yeah. yeah but that. if you see music from Zambia, that's how they make music. Yeah, I think Zambia they really do that. The Rwanda, the yeah. the GRC side, rather, uh, they usually do Even that. In America, man, in America makes uh, music like that. Yeah, what is it in English? Words. Yeah. Ski. But so, uh, welcome. Now, well, now we are, uh, we together in the words, but no more. Let's go about Kosoma. Yes. Um, I just start complaining. Are they? Yeah, about being. Um, uh, being uh, yeah, I'm looking at a better word, but yeah, being used in a way that the music is played everywhere, but they don't see the results. How would you react to this outcry about artists and that? The artists started crying out loud for for for, for starters. Yeah, don't know what they're doing. Mm. Do you think Kosoma is paying well? Well, Kosoma's job is not to pay yeah. an artist. Mm. Why should they pay artists? Consumer's job is to go hunt mm. for the people that are using artist work mm. for all sorts of uh, functions, radios, whatever, yes. to make them pay for the art of these artists. Mm. So here is a person who says, "You know, McDonald, yeah. what you doing? Mm. Can fetch money somewhere? Yeah. I will go and chase that money for you. Yeah. You did not know that." Yeah. You didn't care about that. Yeah. You were just camera music is playing, you're just enjoying. Yes. You know that music younger man. You will stay with a fine man, you will you make your music, yeah. But status, man, status. Yeah. Music young and manual be. So here's a body who goes there to say, okay, come on, you can monetize this. Mm. We will be collecting this money for you. That is just a bond ramen and you pack it as me so what's an end ramen. We should supposed to we're supposed to say thank you, Kosom. But these people that are crying, I know why. These people don't know how mm. to get that money from Koso. Mm. That's why they're crying. Can yeah. you tell me today that I don't mind he's crying with them? The guy who just got two million. He yeah. got two million, yeah. He's, he's, is uh, he still crying? No, no, I think he's happy. Uh, is Janta crying? Yeah, I think he's he got for nine million. Mm. Saint got one point five million. He's not crying. Yeah. Because so, they follow the procedure. Mm, mm, mm. The procedure is this artist are oh, all oh, oh, all us as artists need to register with this body yeah and submit and register our work and it's not about registering of course mm. but go whenever you release the material yeah go submit the material and register that to say this is my song this is my song like the register mm. the younger mm. but of they've got a better way they've got fingerprints mm. they're calling it fingerprint method yeah they fingerprint the song so mm. when you register it the song plays wherever it's playing mm. it calculates mm. This song has played on NBC for 20 times this month. Mm. 
So, go so goes, okay, so this you play this one for the give us the money. If it's the money is 500 quarter for, for, for airplay, mm. times 20. Let's say that 10,000. Right? Mm-hmm. So, I said, okay, 10,000 quarter, I mean, you're going to pass. There is the administration mm-hmm. fee. Percentage for the. If you fail, if you're going to pass, what is the pass? At least, A was 7,000 mm-hmm. airway. For the booty, I wouldn't get a OMPC and a piece of the Yeah. I feel like, you know, for me, I hear you, I hear you. I think most of the artists that I know that probably when I rant a lot, maybe they haven't registered there, or maybe there's a perception of artists that I have an invader in where people don't listen to your songs. Maybe they don't listen to them on the right channels. Because mm-hmm. I can't pay Osona because I'm listening to you. Yeah. Or I'm, I'm tweeting about it or I'm, I'm putting on the internet. With yeah. The, the Namadingo, for yeah. example. Because yeah. I'm, I'm measuring Namadingo mm-hmm. as an example because Dr. Namadingo had a case with Kosong. Yeah, yeah, because I think his music, like, like the Maplan, the Maplan song was everywhere. But was he playing on the radio a lot? Yeah. What's the question? Did he register the song? With and song? when did he register? Exactly. How many plays have happened after the he registered? See? So I, I, I he had a case. He went there. Mm. Silence is golden, man. I mean, I mean, there's there's too much noise in silence. Why all that noise just died? I yeah, it, it, it was, it was the, the vibe of the story was everywhere. And, and then, shoo, yeah, everyone's quiet. They showed him what he wanted to see. Mm-hmm. So to to my fellow artists, I, I would tell them to say, you know what? Let the owners be on Kosoma. It's like when you pray, mm-hmm. when you go to church and pray, mm-hmm. you pray because you know what there is God. Yeah. What if you go and you find there's no God in heaven? What will happen to you when you were praying every day? I don't know. Nothing, nothing man. Yeah. You lose nothing. Yeah. But what if you don't pray thinking there's no God? And like, ah, it's find not them. there. And then you find them. Then you're screwed. You're screwed. So, you're like, so it's better to go for the option which is safer. Yes. You register, you register, lose register, nothing. Register, register songs, leave them with the consumer. The owner should be in them. You lose nothing. Money comes, you benefit. Yeah. If you don't, you if you're chasing your payment, they won't tell you you haven't registered. Be like I registered here. Mm. Can you calculate what you've collected for me? Yeah. So yeah, I, I was one of the guys who used to hate Kosoma, but I feel like we just had these guys for yes, maybe they need to review mm. how much money they pay an artist, mm. what they base that on. Mm. I got told it and dramas it. I'm a charge judge for I'm a zero band this is it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think I think the my percentages are many or plus maybe how they would access my platforms I mean they use the music. Yeah, yeah. I think the new platforms now. And they should go digital as well. Yes. So that we can clearly see. When you go there just do a spreadsheet, you they will show you the, you see this is how your song has done. Yes. So we yeah. have computers now, they can do that. They can do that. They should be able to track it. I hear there's massive people, people can track a song. Yeah. And they follow it up. So wherever it is played uh, there's some the fingerprint right. issue, yeah. yeah. But you, you, you can't be using hard, hard, hard for hard copy, my former hard copy. No, but I good artists can easily you assume good every artist would go to Osoma's office and feel that there are a lot of inter- uh, very talented artists in the villages, yes. They don't even know how to do that, they, they can't. And probably information, remember, with a sub so yeah. they need to. Make sure they digitize their system. Consumers should be able. We should be able to find it on the on the phone. Yeah. To say, okay, I want to register my song. Just go there, feel the jam, jam, jam. Yeah. If they want us to pay for that. Mm. Just link with TNM and, and uh, yeah, 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 and so follow that out. Yeah. So that we can just pay the registration fee through that. Yeah, I think they need to really uh, catch up with the time. Um, I think they can help more artists. They're like police, man. Consumer police should. should <laughs> yeah, they need to work with computers now. Yeah, they need to. Uh, a police, yeah. Where I'm going to They yeah. can just send you. Go to I was Tell them, I can tell them I'm a donut. Yeah, my police. I need to I'll see who. Yeah, Farais, what's your name? McDonald. But I see it's there. It's crazy. Let's talk about your hosting gigs. Yeah. What about your heart? Welcome. To what about my... your heart? <laughs> You're everywhere. Yeah. Everyone, if you want a show to work, change, change a lot. Yeah. What is happening? What is happening? Eh? 
Where's the vibe coming from? Governor, people who just book you because of what but the character of the Savina Jagger on that says that you know, we should interview the types. Yes, that's a song that gets me going. You yeah. know, there was a time when I really was chasing gigs. Yeah, chasing gigs. Yeah. You know, I believed I have a talent in hosting shows. Yeah. I believed. I've been believing this for a long time. Mm-hmm. So this is another area that I want to explore. Yeah, I've been an artist. I've been a performing artist. Yeah. Every time I perform, I used to engage people. Mm. So even when I'm not singing the particular the specific song, yeah, but I'm talking to people. The way I talk to people and the way they respond, mm. I felt I've got something in me. Yeah, I've seen that. See, I saw so that. So I'm going to use that to maximize my income um, generating sources. Yes, because musically, I was going down not because I'm the utanga or even that, but because I had so many things to do. So you weren't producing. You, you weren't. I was in the studio yeah. recording. I did not have the time. I was always at work. You know, I had some other issues to focus on. Yeah. So I thought there should be something that doesn't need me to go to the studio to write songs to record, mm-hmm. but use my talent just to do one off thing. Yeah. Uh, hosting. Yeah. Then I put it away. Could it be people who are hosting and from one another? Yeah. You miss an artist. Yeah. In doing bad. Any? Yeah. We got bit of people just so going into. I mean, my head is out. Sucks a vibe yeah. with the show. Yeah. Even fellow hosts, mm. no names, but fellow hosts trying to discredit. No, I hear you. Here we can drop names. Nah, man, but it's okay. I hear you. These ones are not necessary. Yeah, no worries, yeah. But the other ones are mission. So there was a time, mm. um, Lake of Stars. Yeah. I remember in 2014 when I was, I, I just started working for Times TV. Mm. Lake of Stars came to, mm. we had a partnership with Lake of Stars and Times TV. Yeah. So they said, okay, cool. Um, and I told them, I remember that time it was Zilani, Gonwick, uh, Tammy Clayton, the team. Yeah. I need to perform a Lego Stars. And I said, oh, you should apply. I applied as a performer. Okay. But the money they were offering was too little. I remember they paid, wanted to pay me 70K. 70,000. 70, but they wanted, they wanted me to perform with a band. Mm-hmm. So when they came to Times, I took an opportunity to say, you know what, you guys wanted to pay me 70,000. Mm-hmm. I said it in a meeting. And in a meeting where there was Wu Jemison, Wu Jemison was surprised, the owner of Lego Stars. What? 70,000 with a band. And Zilan was surprised also. What? So they, are you artist liaison told me that the only money they can offer is 70,000. I want to perform with a band and I'm from Atlanta. Say no, let's agree another new uh, contract. Yeah. So what else can you do apart from just performing? Yeah. That's what they asked. Yeah. In my head, I thought maybe me, these guys want me to tell I can help promotion. Yes, and that yes. At times, but I just tried. You know, I can also host the show. Yeah. So are you sure? I said yes. Okay, cool. So give us two quotations. Give us one for hosting. Give us one for performing. You do both. You perform on the Friday. You host on the Saturday and Sunday. Wow. I wrote quotations. Send them. They were approved. We went to Lake of Stars. Two tickets on hosting. And as a performed. Yeah. So I performed and I hosted. But they liked my hosting a lot than performing. Yeah, the performers. I remember I introduced the Mafikizo the, that time. Oh yeah, that Mafikizo era, yeah. It was nice and that was the um, the, the start starting point of me hosting shows. So every time the at the following Lego stars I applied as a host, they took me as a host. Ah, okay. That following Lego stars, when it happened, it happened uh, not in Mangochi, it happened in Salim. Mm. Uh, so after that one, uh, the, the came Sun Music Festival. Yeah. So I've hosted Sun Music Festival like maybe four of the, the first four Sun Music Festivals. You have hosted Sun Music Festival? Yeah, the first four. Let's, get, let's get this on record. Yes. Chegaloda has hosted the first four. The first four Sun, Sun Music Festivals. Successfully. Successfully. Until. Until. Something, I don't know, something happened. Yeah, because because that's, that's where I was going. Because. You have been hosting shows, and I've been in shows. You hosted the Honest Mas, you hosted the Guamba. And I'm good at it. Yes, you've hosted a number of shows. Just not Sun Music Festival. Now, what happened? They happened. They happened. There's a person there yeah. who doesn't like me. No names? Or no, know? but you know, yeah. you know, there's a person there who doesn't like me. Mm. This was also. Um, Witnessed by some guy, rest in peace, Kennedy Combezi. Mm. 
who told me point blank chief i mean the science music festival organizing committee your name came up as a host yeah but this particular person said no not you had you ever have anything against this person yeah i said chief i don't know but i was surprised because last year it was the same yeah so i i I'm, 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 i'm very good friends with kwati Peter Bagaya Mohango, yeah. who is the one of the program managers of Sun Music Festival. Yeah. Very good friend with Jack McBram Siwa, mm. who also organizes the Sun Music Festival. Yeah. These are my friends. I'm very good friends with Lucy Span. You are who is the owner of Sun Music Festival? Yes. You talk to Lucy? He's my friend. Okay. Lucy and me, we talk on a personal level, he's my friend. This, this is interesting. Uh, you know, because he, you see, outside there, everyone thinks that you have a huge beef with Lucius and not anyone else. So why would I do that? Why would I do that? I don't know. I don't have a problem with Lucius Banda as a person. Yeah. Lucius Banda is a very good friend of mine and he has given me a lot of opportunities as, a, as an artist. Yeah. Whether I benefited, that's another issue. Maybe yeah. that's for another day. Uh, yeah, that's another day. But he has given me so much platform. I remember the UGF campaign of 2014. Uh, 2014. Mm. We moved to Lucius Banda across the country. Mm. It's a man band promoting yeah. Adobe. Mm. It paid well. It was it was a very good platform for me. Cool, yeah. That's yes, the money band used to hire me. Wow, to perform with Lucius a lot of places. There was a time when the man wanted to hire Guamba. Yeah, Guamba had school. Mm-hmm. They had me. We we moved. So it's always been like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until maybe Lucius started listening to to the other people because he believes now. Who is this person? I do not know. Okay, cool. I know, <laughs> but I, I, I can't waste. I like you know. I, I don't want to waste time mentioning this person. But they know. This person knows. Should, should I drop names? Nah. Okay. <laughs> because we, but there, there's there's rumor. There's a rumor. Yeah. There's a rumor is female. But let's go on. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. If you're talking about female, let's just clear it out. It's not Priscilla. Okay. Because there was a female uh, person called Priscilla. Yeah. I think last year. Yeah. Uh, when I tweeted to say when I when I posted something about the Sun Music Festival need to clean their house yeah. and they need to start uh, paying local artists well. Yes, yes. People thought I was mad. I, I talked about hospitality. Yeah. I talked about artist welfare. I talked about a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of stars at Sun Music Festival. Yeah. I'm sorry. People thought it was just hate mm. because apparently this girl called Priscilla yeah. uh, posted uh, a screenshot of. The business I was negotiating with like Sun Music Festival. Oh, oh. So it, here is me asking the organizers through her, yeah, who is hosting this year's festival. Yeah. I want to host it. Yeah, expressing the interest. The interest. We read newspapers. There's always expression. Of In interest. fact, you have to do that if you do have to. Yeah, you need to market yourself. Yes, I told I told her that, and then she said, "Oh, sorry, we already have hosts." Is mm-hmm. that cool? Fine. So this screenshot was with this conversation was screenshotted mm. and posted on Twitter to link that my yeah. anger to say okay he's bitter because he's he was a hit. You see, could be true, mm. could be wrong. But what I wanted was to advocate for young artists. I'm, 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 I'm in a position yeah. of power. Yeah, I'm in a position where I can speak and people listen. Yeah. I talk on TV every day. Mm. I've got a large following of people. I'm a, yeah. probably a public figure now. You are, you are, yeah. So I said, let's use this because people can at, at least listen to me. Yeah. Let me use this opportunity to, to speak for my fellow young artists because I've been there. I know. Yeah. I know what happens there. Yeah. It's very probably even difficult for you to perform at a music festival and get two hundred thousand out of those guys. Practically impossible. Practically impossible. These young artists that are going there, they, they get paid fifty thousand, hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand, and they've never given a place to sleep. And they have to sort their own. People come all the way from Lilonga. People come all the way from Blanda, and they change in the car. Hey. And the artist changing and the in the car. Changing in the car. Some bamunyanja. Uzo la mfuda magari moto. Magari moto. Afuna na yeye. Dukuva magari moto. Magari moto. Nothing is all. No accommodation. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah. As if I had that. Wow, when I go in a certain festival, I go in a fun party. As long as I'm drunk, I'm going to sing. 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 I'm going
it's good because sana ni drink you know sana ni and then i'm speaking ill of the festival oh, I, 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 I don't want to so i took an opportunity to say okay yeah i'm not there yeah. let me talk yeah. so i talked about issues and you know in my issues i did not tag lucius band mm. like i always say i'll say it again i don't have any problem with lucius band yeah he is one of the people that have mentored me musically i look up to him yeah 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 he's got his short force yeah I don't mind about what he does as a person. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. He has a short for. Sometimes I wish if he was. I think Adam Adam on the phone in Thailand. I don't know. He, he's, 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 he's the Twitter finger. He's the. Yeah. He's like Donald Trump. You know, I'm a bullet, but that's his one thing. I don't know if he does it himself, but if he does, sometimes it's, it's not funny. It's not funny. Sometimes he really hits people. Childish, you know? Yeah. 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 He hits people because a lot of people are going through bad moments now. Yeah. It's a bad time. You know, things are not well. Yeah. It's for a person like him who is very. Um, um respectable yes uh, yeah. malawi if we talk about music legends we, show them malawi, we, we can talk music without him you yeah. see so that's that's his business but with me mm. i'm okay with him as a, as, a, as an artist as an artist yeah i'm not okay with him as the owner of sun music festival yeah. because being an artist and being the owner of sun music festival mm. he's supposed to be the first person to, to understand, understand the issues the grievances mm. of young artists Yeah. And the funny thing, you can tell me an artist goes and entertains people and gets 50,000. It happens that people go there for free, chief. Free. We are just giving you the platform. If at all you want, you should source yourself Manura Bank sponsor. This year, this is I don't know when this will come out, but 2020 Sun Music Festival for 2021. Yeah. A lot of artists that went there were told, "Okay, ngana mufuna ngwele kwa muzi anga neno ka sponsor, tuko kwa Sun platform." Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh, that's killing. And you know even the minister for tourism, uh, Mr. Michael Usi, they yeah. spoke about this. That's a big it's big. Yes. I mean, you can be paying an international yes the interna- international artist we understand you can be paying an international artist 50,000 50 million kwacha but then you pay malawi not even 200 a malawian artist that does the job for malawi and to stu- uh, it's crazy the festival is for three days three days an international artist performs for two hours two hours only my guys the rest the of the hours are discovered by local artists nah that's bad you get That's so right. people should start thinking they shouldn't see this into a man but check on that just I don't know what you know people I don't want to one of about Jimmy yeah people will show me and I hate you I mean Jimmy by you I want to then in this up for no see ya but I want to tell them this they need to dig deep yeah. see the what's inside we got to move you out here but you all, how do they feel you are invited to a gig where someone is getting 50 mil or 20 mil and you are going there you're getting 50,000 you have no place to sleep you are organizing your own transport they don't care how you get there and hey, i come on they don't care how you get there and all they do is that like, where are you they never even check kuti wanyamuka because that is serious on means kuti mtu jamanga mpanga haya ali manyamana because mtu jamanga ngozi you need to speak yeah asana fake show ali manyamana do you even have that policy that covers that could that start up ngozi so insurance kind of uh, arrangement do they even have that Yeah. I don't know. It's just by grace of God with my name will be. Mm. Imagine a festival that's paying 100,000 to an artist to come and perform for a festival. Yeah. I mean, you know, when the car for sure say or they would drop you. They would drop you like that. Ona? So, come go that bagging goes grab small guy with a big gap. You know how bagging grab regular man today. They will panic. Tanga na new today gain. You know what I say? I'm too bad. We're sorting it out. That's what they 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 will panic. They will panic, yeah. Mona is an issue value I think at the end of the day. Mr. P from uh, the P square t- the, he spoke on the stage. Mm. He called Kali Danu and Lulu. You mm. know you need to celebrate you know, this young this local Malawi artist. For example, these guys are doing I mean, an amazing job wow. talking about local artists. Wow. That was that was I'll tell you a story that you don't know. Mm. Do you know how Sun Music Festival came about? I hear it was a beef between Lucas Stars Zeman Lucas Band and Zeman Band plus the Black Nationalists plus whoever whoever were hired by Lego Stars they were told they would be paid 300,000 each we now they say 300,000 what yes officer because yes. Sunfest Lego Stars said we are a project 
So open your eyes, companies and what not. Yeah. Start. My festival, I'm a fan. Yeah. As well. When the young people start their festivals, that's yours. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, it's all good. It's all yeah, good. Anyway, but yeah, I, th- I think I think what people forget sometimes is when when they were on the other side, what happened? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's good to respect uh, people when they're in their time when they they are struggling mm-hmm. for them to be there. You see, it's, it's crazy. It's not because you went to school with shit on Namibia. Then when I'm going to pass on Namibia, so that's lost. Oh, what did you guys? If you want to see my friend, you don't know Come on, did you see him? Come on, come on, we just have to change. Come on, from now on, as long as I'm far, come on, we just have to. What generation are you creating? You know, what did you guys make it a possibility that with the other generations that's coming, as as I'm going to, as I'm going to come in, as I'm going to be with I mean, I'm a test as a man school Be that person. That's a good one. You understand? It's a good one. Be a person who inspires change. Yes. Who comes in and breaks yes. Break the barrier. is easy is not to have. Mm. And don't work for yourself or for the nearest generation. Look ahead. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, true. So it's too close. It's too close. Climate change is too close. It's too close, yeah. We, what we do now, we should think about the two or three generations that's coming ahead of us. I mean, as I as I'm going to say, we don't want to say enough is enough in 2020. Yeah. We're not going to go to cry George for that. Yeah. Your legacy will be short. Yeah, I think it's about legacy, and specifically for people who are deemed legends, mm-hmm. it's very good that as they are at the end, the story is Makalinga to the rise and fall of Mwene Mutaba Kingdom. Ah, is it called the rise? Just finish well. Just yes. finish well. <laughs> finish well. <laughs> yeah. Finish well. It's like you've had a very good game and then you missed the last game. And you missed the last game. People forget everything. They will think about the third Romy said, I'm not going to finish something that they call. Mwene, you've had a glad game. Yeah. Please. Somebody tell Lucius Banner not to miss the last penalty. Yeah, he shouldn't. He should not. Incident. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I think you have cleared a lot of things yes. around around this issue. And when people are watching this episode, I think we'll, we'll get. It. I hate Sun Music Festival. Their system. I hate it. I do not hate individuals at Sun Music Festival. I don't hate Lucius Banda. I I've got a lot of Sun Music Festival organizers are my friends, but their system is crap. No two way about it. They need to change. I don't like it. As simple as that. Yes. Amazing. So let's go to the other. I just want to play a game with you. Uh, this game is one must go kind of game. Okay. So I'm gonna give you two artists. Okay. And I think uh, disclaimer: he is doing it as a preference. It doesn't mean that uh, there's a personal thing mm-hmm. around it. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna give you two names, and you're gonna uh, tell me that this one has to go, this one has to stay, and then you can give me a reason about that. So let's start with one. Suffix versus Guam. One must go. Suffix must go, Guamba must stay. Because Guamba is a friend? No, Guamba has proven to be very consistent. Mm. And he, uh, he inspires a lot of change. Mm. He has inspired a lot of youth. Mm. And he is more than music. He, I think he also does a lot of charity work and perform music. But people That's argue true. that Guamba is more because he has money. Uh, depends, man. He, mm. he, he depends. Because I have known Guamba from when he was just an ambassador of... Uh, uh, UNFPA. Yeah. He still had to do a lot of things with him. Same money that he was getting from UNFPA. Yeah. I've known Gwamba from when he did not have any money. Mm. When he used to come to Blanda to sleep in my house to perform at a show wow. and wait for me to give him transport to go back to the Now so I've seen can, how he has grown. Now he can call you to host his show. Yes. I've seen how he has grown. Yeah. So probably when I say Gwamba must stay, because I know, know what he can do. Yeah. He can benefit Malawi more. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, Suffix is a very good artist, but yeah. I don't have this. I haven't seen that other side of him. Yeah. Yo, yeah. but I know Guamba would, would benefit a lot of you. Guamba would build a free studio in Tandere, for yeah. example, to say people can just go record. That would be good. If he is listening, <laughs> just 
So he's, he's, a, he's the type of guy who would do that. Yeah. Yes. So cool. Golden State. Cool. Then let's go to Leslie versus Singe. Let's um, the new kid, the new girl. Singe stays. Let's okay. goes. Why? Um, Sengi. I just feel like Sengi has offered a lot, mm. and um, he's he's very authentic. Of it, oh, authentic. Yeah. It's, it's probably a very good business that I've heard mm. over the time to get as a Yeah. But also, he is versatile. Mm. I mean, she is versatile. She can do reggae. Yeah. She can do the other songs. Yeah. She can do music for organizations, mm. like them thematic songs. Thematic but songs. she can also just do music for music. And mm. also, mm. the last thing is, I feel like she she's a true reflection of an African woman. Yeah, the way she dresses, the way yeah. she carries herself. Mm. So Sengi stays. Okay, cool. Uh, Sengi stays. Um, this one is, is is quite heavy, Let but I'll throw it to you. Bring it. Doctor Namadingo versus Onesmas. One must go. <laughs> this one hits home. Huh? <laughs> Don't make me hurt, Tana. <laughs> that was my last trial. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, Doctor Namadingo stays. Stays. And, um, on this first course. Why Namadingo? I'm looking at how Namadingo would benefit Malawi more. Okay. 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 Um, okay. I hear international you. relations. Mm. Like um, he's willing to explore. Mm. And uh, you know, just expound yeah. to the other countries. Yeah, you know, and uh, also um, he makes music that's relatable for Malawians. Mm. Just recently, that I've heard Onesmus making music that's relatable. Mm. And I know mm. Solomon, yeah, Mr. Nobody. Yeah. Onesmus is like um, a hybrid artist. Yeah, yeah, a hybrid artist. Somebody who would sound American. And uh, somebody who would live in America and do music in America for yeah. America, yeah. But originally from Malawi. Namadingo mm. is that somebody who would take his guitar, go to America, and play them. He goes to Yeah. So I want somebody who would go to Afghanistan yeah. and do a song in Jiji. And that's where I think we forget about uh, about authenticity. Yeah. You know, a lot of artists during my time when I was an artist, uh, we would race to be to sound American. But when you go there, they won't celebrate you. They will celebrate your authenticity yeah. if you if you rap a, a, like a Malawi. So I think I think Namadi was, and one more thing is Namadi also is willing to help other artists. Yeah, yeah. I'm not so sure about Onesmus on that one mm, mm. because um, he's been here. Mm. Onesmus has been here. Yeah, I haven't seen any connection with a, a local artist from Malawi to say okay, we are working with this particular artist yeah. on this particular project. Yeah, but for the time that Namadi has been here. Yeah. Where he's brought Messi. Yeah. Oh, though they, they, there was a breakaway. There was yeah. a break, uh, breakdown in, 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 along the way. Yeah. But he's also helped at Gilles Salamander with the yeah. Marshall. Yeah. With the Marshall yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's, he's, he's done a lot of things. A lot know. of collaborations. Yeah, yeah, he's, really done, he's done a mashup with you know, uh, Miracle Chinga. Mm, so it's, 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 it, there's a lot that this young guy is doing. Yeah. So, let's yeah. no Great. Let's do this one. This one goes uh, to the world of, no, not the world of beef. Chai Green versus not Yang K. One has to go. Yo, man, that's easy, man. Okay. Give me Yang K, man. <laughs> Take out Tay, man. <laughs> Tay, yeah. Why? But Yang K has been, hasn't been dropping beef. It doesn't matter, boss. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What is this respect that people give to Yang K? Let me tell you I don't this. get it. Let me tell you. Sometimes yeah. you do things that too, that are, you do something that is way too ahead of people. Like mm. I told you. Mm. You know, you know, I go to a show today. Yeah. I play the songs I've done 10 years ago. Yeah. But I just still, I still cue the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without any new stuff. Yeah. I'll go to a show today. I'll play my first album, which I tried to release in 2012. Yeah. It didn't even come out. Yeah. The album that has Namavuto, Jahinde, Tua, you know, I'll go to a show and perform those songs, and that's it. Hyphen will do the same. Mm hmm. You go to a show performer in Ananka Bango, he's good. Ananka Bango was in 2009. Yeah, you, just, still you, don't need, you don't need to make music every day. You need to make music that people listen to every day. Wow. Interesting. Cool. Let's drop it there. Um, this one is for, for the Gejo. 
Man, see, this is a snagger, I say. Yo. Hey, this one is tricky. Uh, tricky. <laughs> I know. I know. One of them, yeah, is this coming out? Yeah, just it's coming in strong. Mm. God is coming in strong. Yeah, but I'll, I'll go for Mate because yeah. Mate has variety. Yeah, I feel like God has limited limited um, space where he's operating. From. Yeah, I feel like he's got. He's got the, like he will pick his songs from a very small box. The like, mm. he's got mm. all all his um, concepts. Yeah, he's got limited concepts. Mm, okay. Yeah, because it's all about God, ghetto. How he's the yes. king. Yes. How he he flows better than other people. How he's a bad bad guy around town. Yeah. How he's you know like that. Yeah. Matt, I'm surprised you do that, but you also do a song that you can listen to at the wedding. Yeah, he's, he's, he can drop some love, love, love. Mm -hmm. I know one of the best songs that I've heard yes. in Malawi. Yeah. I have a music, yeah, yeah. Matt, yeah. I'll do a song with Nuru, Matt, I'll do anything. Mm -hmm. So, versatility and yeah. uh, also an amount of heat, man. Yeah. Matt has too many songs. That's yeah, yeah. Matt has a lot of hits. Yeah, Matt has a lot of hits. Okay, let's do this one for the singers. Saint Vissa's Kevin sings, one must go. <laughs> I would keep Kevin sings. Okay. Saint must go. Okay. Because I feel like Saint has shown me what he can do. Okay. But I, I still I still I see I know Kevin sings mm. has a lot to offer. You know? I think so as well. I feel like he's blossoming and if he if he reaches within what figure man you know, yeah. he can really blossom. Yeah. The world could only tell him that Zambi is already Makaya as that was. He can he can keep on surprising us. Yeah. Saint has surprised us yeah. to a level where we know he's saint, you know. Yeah. Like if you do a song today, it's very rare saint to surprise me. Yeah. But he can. Yeah. But it's very rare he would now mm. at, at this particular moment. Yeah. But he can. Mm. But then Kelvin sings, I feel like he still has that space. Where he can come up with a lot of things. Hey, that, the guy is so talented, man. He is. I blame his level. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening to him on his level. But, but I feel like I've read the, the manager of the label uh, wrote a status that he has stopped managing anyone. So he's not managing any person. So I think he's free now. Let's see. Probably that's your God there, man. You, <laughs> you also have to think about, you know, that's, that's he's pure God. That guy. He is. He so is. Just, the, elder, the, the next person who manages Kevin Sings, if he thinks like how Prince... My Prince thinks the manager of Ellen yes, Duty. Yes. Kevin Sings will go. He's, he's got everything. Yeah. That an artist. He's everything that an artist would. Quality, man. Yes. How he composes his music. Yes. He doesn't have any um, bad new stories. No, he's, no, he's, clean, he's a clean, clean slate. Yeah. He's a clean slate. Yeah. So you would start smart. You know, yeah. he's, he's a smart artist. Yeah. I think so. I think he has a lot of. Let, let him stay, man. Okay. Kevin stays. Uh, now let's go back to the world of beef. <laughs> wow. There, there was... This is jolly blow. Okay, well, hold up. What do you want me to do? You want me to... Uh, One must go. You know it, man. You know. <laughs> Jerry Bro versus Dead Devil. Dead Devil is every day, man. <laughs> Jerry Bro has been diluted now. I'm sorry to say this, but I feel like his, his, his content is more of, uh, aggressive. Uh, anger that is directed at people yeah. is talking more than making music. Aye. Dead devils, they're so subliminal. Yeah. They will throw a line that you will take maybe to listen to the song three or four times. For you to understand you know it. That, okay, so they're talking about. Yeah. I, 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 I want to, to interview, uh, to have a chat with Dead devils when I come to Blanta. I, I organize that. For yeah, you sure. You sure. Those, Those guys, I feel like. People never understood them. They were way beyond the time. Exactly the, the point. Exactly the point. There's me. There's the devils. There's Kevin Sings. There's Ruru. Yeah. People that way were ahead of how people were timing. You know, like yeah. we, we went far ahead. Ruru. Maguila, yeah, that was. That was far. You could see the video, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Things that. 
Come on, that time if you want to get the I even a video. Yeah, but me say negative. Yeah. I even say it on the negative. Yeah. They were trying to develop that was I think the guy who was doing that. I don't know, so I don't know, I don't see that one, of course it was a big job to do my animation in Yeah, that was heavy, come on, he's like that type Nah, he was way beyond time Imagine that mm. But here he is now, people have met that Akumarano rule, the actual Akumarano, now people understand what it does now. Yeah Yo, Daredevil is still the same, Daredevil has been making beats like forever You must look at my phone, I don't know that Daredevil is JP, you know that? JP was just the devils, man. Without yeah. the devils, yeah. no JB. Yeah, I think, no. I think JB was part of. I think there was a time where everyone was just thinking, could he JB? What the devils? Because yeah. every, even every big song that JB did, there was those devils. The devils, either production or either the drink song. Of course, man. I even call up all the songs that he did. Mm-hmm. That's who's who's it? The devils, but can't anymore. Cool. Let's as we draw near to, to the close. Let's talk about um, now the last one. Mm-hmm. Mariga vs. Cheese. I think we need to settle this today. Let's settle this today. Yeah. You want to? You want one must go. Yeah, yeah, one must go. Cheese must go. Okay. He, needs, he, needs to, he needs to concentrate more on uh, building his um, things in the future. I think so too. I think, you know, I think people he's over people, people over. No, they, they brought him into a very unnecessary beef. They, yeah. They are exposing him. To something that he doesn't need. He needed Malinga so that they yeah. work together, not he, as rivals. Yeah, yeah. He needed to learn from Malinga. He, yeah. needed, he needed to transit. They need to. They need to. They need to be some transition from mm. the Blasto yes. Malinga yes, to, to the, the likes of Chismo, Elanji, yes. Breda, yes. and all the other young artists. Mm. So these um, established ones, um, Pro Voice, Blasto, Malinga, they needed to, mm. you know. Trickle down to these young ones, yeah. You know, making collabs with them, just giving them the confidence because dance was about confidence, yeah. Yeah, dance was like a contact sport, mm. it's like boxing, it's heavy, yeah. It's but, rough, so you need to oh, be very confident, yeah. You know, stand on your own. So, I feel like people brought in cheese more too early, yeah, to start now, yeah, bumping onto this, yeah, or legends. I said, ah, I'm going to go to the so soon that I'll, I'll make it, you know, what's that? Nah, nah. Yeah, and I think that was that, was, that wasn't necessary. Oh. And I hear you when you say, uh, um, uh, Chismo has to go for now. Yeah, for now. He, he can, he, he can is, go and concentrate. He needs to go and concentrate. Mm-hmm. He's a very good artist, very good beat. sister. I've heard his album. I bought his album, by the way. Oh. I've heard his album. His EP is fire, man. He's like, you, you do things that you think, hey, could he? There's still stuff that people think about that we have never thought about yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, you think musically, mm-hmm. you have thought about any other thing that people do. Yeah. But people get so to surprise you say, ah! But for me, I'm not supposed to be lying. Yeah. Yeah. It's just because yeah. it's easy. Yeah. How? All right? Mm-hmm. That is Chismo. Mm-hmm. But when you start comparing him with Maringa, because this is Maringa. Right? Yeah. Maringa has been a consistently performer mm-hmm. and a dancer, best dancer artist in Malawi for like four years. Yeah, for years. Yeah, for I'm years. Gonna best dancer artist doing, doing, doing. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't do that. Right? Yeah. It's like you saying, good idea, if I find another one, but when if we did not um, split bang or whatever, they say, who's better than Vice Cartel? You yeah. don't do that. You don't do that. They might have style and yeah. bow, yeah. but don't compare them. Yeah. You know, compliment. They what are, whatever right. they're doing at this particular time, but yeah. give them space to grow. Compliment them. No, no, we need to be helping these young ones. Cool. Yeah. I hear you. Where is Malawi music going? Do you think there is a future that uh, we will do, we will export talent? All this time, we were just wondering about it. Mm. Probably in a jungle trying to. Maybe we were people that lost our compass direction. Yeah. So we just trying to wonder about we never put it to Gram say we know back. Yeah. So we we that we gram say what? That we gram. Yeah. We found the road. Mm. Now we are approaching the bridge. Mm. What remains is now to cross that bridge. Yeah. You understand? The moment we cross that bridge to the other side, mm. my friend, that is it. Because I believe I, I think with the festivals, with people trying new things like like these shows that like the bombers are doing and stuff, we are seeing a new, a new set of artists who can be a rock even outside. Exactly my point. So the barrier uh. is the bridge. Yeah. 
It's not like we are there yet, mm. but we are coming across, we are getting closer to the bridge. When we get to the bridge, yeah. and then we cross it, yeah. that is it. Because now at the bridge, we need, you know, at one moment, it's your bridge. Yeah. We have to go to the bridge. Yeah. We have to go to the bridge. We have to go to the choker. Yeah. And we have These are distributors. Yeah. Promoters. Yeah. I have to go to the bridge. Yeah. I mean, I have to go to the bridge. I have to go to the bridge. Yes. When they understand and they get to recognize our talent, mm. they'll start distributing it, exporting it. Yeah. You get it. Mm. But my, my advice would be, for the people that are making uh, festivals mm. and big shows that are calling my artist a Yeah. Don't cage these artists. I please. They will go on murder. I don't know if I'm going to go on murder. Don't cage these artists. Yeah. They need to understand. First thing, when I want to know about the artist. Mm. They need to understand artistic behavior. An artist behavior, yeah. when you go to anywhere else where you want, maybe you want to figure out. Yeah. You want to find artists, you want to link up, you want to have your good time. Yeah. If it's a guy, artist on mm. you want to see beautiful women from uh, yeah. or Vesa. Mm. You want to see beautiful clubs. Yeah. He wants to go places. Yeah. She what, they need, what they need to do, they need to tell the artist to respect the contract, mm. Mm. but also give them the space mm. to make merry and move around. Yeah. Find connections, link up with these local artists. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Uh, MT, mm. show. he yeah. came mm. earlier than the day of the show. Yeah. I think two days before the show. Mm. He was at Mingo in the room. Oh. Before he went to. Yeah, yeah he was at Mingo, yes. He met these people. He, he's done a song with Charisma. Wow. MT is talking about Quest. He said, This is the future of Malaya and Trap. Ah. These guys were together ah. everywhere. Like chilling, proper chilling. You understand? Yeah. They're, they're chilling every day. In Mzuzu, after the show, there was a dinner. Yeah. Everyone went there, all the artists were there. Mm. Chilling with an empty art. Mm. After that, Koken had a, an after party at Queens, Mzuzu Local Queens Club. Mm. We went there, these guys went to see now how a local show how looks like. It looks like, yeah. They went to the club, they appreciated that. They, oh, it's yeah. You know, they liked Malawi so much. Yeah, and they took the bit of on occasion. They don't give but look at this. Look yeah. at this. this they, they've been telling us Casper the West is from Malawi. Yeah. But Casper the West has never done a song with a Malawian. Yeah. Despite coming to Malawi for five, three, four so occasions. Many times, yeah. You understand? Yeah. You get it. Some songs really. So, crazy. Crazy. You, you see, these promoters are also artists. Maybe mm -hmm. they want to push their agenda mm -hmm. because they are also artists. I'm going become artists. Yeah. So, maybe it's like Kuching Lauli. Let's be honest. And you need to yeah. pair these artists according to the genres. Yes. Pair them according to type of music. Yes. The artist Yes. 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 Yeah. Come and go to hotel. Mm. Just organize a quick lunch or dinner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you never know, you're killing the future of this young lady in, in the area 49 in Italy. They would have been married to this international artist, but because you're caging them, what can you give some of the other who are not going to be able to do it? Yeah. They need to say something when they go, when they come to the house. In Malawi, they're beautiful women. I met this other chick who told me to show. They're telling the story. Yeah. You know? I, th I think it, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of um, caging that happens, and it doesn't help. Yeah. Because you see how it's happening now, um, the uh, Nigerians, how they have been to the UK, USA, they collaborate with with, um, uh, with Chris Brown. I did, come on! I saw Davido at the awards in America. He went there, he won an award. His speech, he literally said, talking to the all these big artists from the States. Yeah. Yo, he mentioned names. Yo, Migos, yo, Chris Brown. Before he made these collabs, yeah, you, you, we need to make music. We need to make music together. You should come to Africa. Yes, you know about those as his advice. Mm. He made a statement. Mm. Look at Davido now. He's made music with all these people that he yeah. mentioned. Yeah, 
Because he made a statement. Yeah, that's true. Yes, we need to protect them. Yes, they don't have to be touched by the alcohol to get to if mm. anything happens, he did with you. Yeah. Um, give him some time, put a chase in there as a now. But I'm not disturbed where I will. I'll also allow it. Men are we by much time over there. So I won't even wonder if any word is happening. And that's bad. I'm going to see you the young chief. That's bad. Doesn't appreciate anything that has happened. I don't know if you go, who I can go in, but I can go in, but I can go in. The rest of the things that happen is who serves the Zewa artist. We are killing it ourselves. We are lucky, but no matter how much Malawi is marketable. Yeah. Malawi is going to be a good one. This yeah. was supposed to be our moment mm. to just connect, 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 yeah. try things, try things, try things. Yeah. You never know. We are just going to be a good one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because they connected. Mm -hmm. I just need to, to catch up with that guy. That's really true. That's really true. Man, we've been talking for a long time here. Uh, yes, yes, your TV presenter. This is your word. But how do you want people to remember you at other, other ends? I just want to know that because I know you've been there. You've done that. Um, you're always on TV. You're doing this Kajai season, whatever that you're doing. You you were there. Why do you want people to remember you at the end of the day? I know we were talking about yeah, you establishing yeah. stuff, but I yeah. Want, I want, before I die, I know I'll die. Everybody else will. Yeah. yeah. Before I die, I want people to try to understand what I'm about to, what I what I what I have for, what passion I have for Balam music and what I'm about to do. Yeah. The bridge I was talking about, I believe we can be that bridge. I believe I can be that bridge for yeah. the youngsters, you know, that are coming up. Yeah. Just to help them get to the next level. Yeah. I've been in the music industry for so long. My job now is to help, you know, mm. push these young ones up and just give them the, the show them the way. Yeah. You know, and all the things that I'm doing now, building the studio, starting a recording label, doing all sorts of stuff, promoting artists, yeah. distribution, whatever, is for Malawian artists. Yeah. Because I've got the heart for Malawian music. Yeah. I want people to know that. That's mm. the agenda I'm pushing and I want them to support it. Amazing. Now when I die, mm. I want people to remember, as, remember me as a person who did not hide any words. Mm. When it's wrong, it's wrong. I can't call a cat. Uh, 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 calling, calling a cat a rat mm. or calling a cat a cat a no if it's a cat it's a cat mm. I'm so self forward if things are going wrong I'll speak about it mm. uh, no grudges for me no hard feelings but I'll speak about it and also remember me as a person who really tried to entertain them and give back to the music industry amazing yeah amazing that's so powerful man. that's so powerful man. I think at the end of the day, we all want to, to leave an impact. And, yeah. and you are already doing stuff. And I think uh, it would be great to see you promoting more people, giving them confidence um, that you have when you're on stage, uh, when you're hosting and the like. Because a couple of young people are uh, hosts or people that are just coming in who want to do music, who are struggling just even to find their identity and stuff. So, you people who have been there, it's great when you give them a. They should reach out we yeah. don't, if it's normal. Yeah, I know, you know, okay. you know my chila, you know my chila. Okay, right, cool. Guys, today was fire. Uh, no big names mentioned here. Uh, it's just a very clean show. Uh, I'm happy that you're there. Like, subscribe, comment if you want to see more of this. Uh, if you want me to go to Blanta, talk Daredevils, I would love to talk to those guys. Uh, to talk to them about so many things. Uh, how people thought that we were this and stuff. It's crazy <laughs> stories. Yeah, it will be great to connect with more artists and stuff. I'm happy that you're there and see you in the next one. Oh.